Hey there folks, Rinny MT here and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy XIV Shadowbringers. In the last part, we saved Gabu and Alize proved that she's not really very good with passwords. Um, <laughs> don't have Alize secure your account, okay? Anyway, like master, likes people. How she will be at pains to remind me I have not paid Master Matoya a visit since returning from the first. Um, but this seems a good, as good a time as any. Come, let's make for her cave. So, there is a... At least a... Right. It's a... With that whopping 18,000 experience. And continue on our way. I take you are ready to bear witness a joyous reunion of master and people. Uh, very well. Nary a word from you all this time, then you bring every man and his pirogo with you. Did no one teach you any manners, girl? They were too busy teaching me etherology, master. Jesting aside, I wanted to be the one to express our gratitude. I am told you spared no effort to sustain our bodies while we were away. And for that, we owe you our lives. Thank you. <laughs> you were gone so long. I was starting to think you'd set your heart on staying. It wasn't easy to leave, as it happens. Seldom does one have the opportunity to study other worlds, and I would not have minded extending my stay by a handful of years. Ever the scholar. Yestola dedicated herself to studying ancient civilizations of the first, befriending a tribe known as the Knights Blessed in the process. There she took on the name of Matoya and won the respect of all the children of the forest. I merely adopted an alias in accordance with the custom of my hosts. Yours just happened to be the first name that came to mind. You mean to tell me you went gallivanting about using my name and only bother to visit when you need a favor? And don't pretend you don't. I taught you long enough. Indeed. And devoted pupil that I am, I could not fail to recall my master's sage advice. When the answer eludes you, look to the wisdom of your elders. You there. Were you going to introduce yourself? Me. Grahatia is my name, and I am proud to call myself a scion. I too wish to offer my gratitude for your invaluable aid in sustaining the Archon's bodies, as well as my apologies. It was my inexpert summoning spell which endangered their lives in the first place. Ah, yes. The one bent on digging up the mysteries of Alag. Old Galaf used to speak of you, and Kryles told me all about your recent exploits. Do you have a bad back or something? At ease, boy. Whatever mess you've made, I'm not in the habit of dwelling on the failings of the younger generation. You are too kind. I've also heard much and more about you, Master Matoya. It is an honor to finally make your acquaintance. Well, that's more than enough pleasantries for anyone. Tell me what you want. I haven't got all day.
So that's the way of it. It should be a simple enough matter to make the familiar. The magic, on the other hand. Ah, that you may leave to me. Being the only one possessed of royal blood, I alone can imbue the subject with the necessary magic. So I just need to create Porxes with the power to stir the soul. Just, I say. Though we're talking about a veritable herd of the little buggers, we'd collapse before we reached double figures. But if I could get a familiar to create the familiars, a mother porksy, as it were. Seems I haven't seen the last of that moldy old hole after all. Hello, Russ. I'm ignoring you. Alright, off to my old workshop then. Everything required to make your familiar is there. Being that no one has set foot in there since the exodus. I dread to imagine what's become of it. Oh, there is surely a handful of feral familiars. We may have a monster or two, but nothing that trouble likes of you. You can consider cleaning up the place payment for my help. Fine, we'll do it. Good girl. Now, if there are no objections, I suggest you run along to the maker's quarters. I'll send one of my pierogos ahead to let you into the workshop. He need only tell him who you are. A one can't be too careful after all. Off you go. The unwashed of the downtown Terry. Greetings, Rivet, and welcome to my good mistress's relic. Pearl Rogo is my name. I'm honored to be your guide. Within, you will find a space dedicated to the making of familiars, along with a cavern wherein the requisite ingredients may be had. I must warn you, however, that the place has not played host to a single soul, much less a broom, in over 15 years, and will, I regret, be in some disarray. But rest assured, my brothers and I shall see to it that you do not lose your way. Now then, Remy, only say the word and I'll show you in. Matoya's relic is now accessible. You know, in theory, I could be doing fates here to farm memories, too. However, that can also happen. Right. To begin with, I need you to gather a few ingredients. Listen well to what the Porogos say, or you'll wish you had. We need to harvest some clay. The clay can be had. A clay clock cauldron rivet through this portal, if you would. So we will want to jump through the portal. This is kind of going to be the gimmick of this dungeon is these portals. Sort of. I mean, how we're going to actually split. I mean, it's not just a straight path. Please follow me, rivet, and put down any pests that bar the way.
just exactly the floor button's on. Alright, so yeah, um, pulls are pretty straightforward in here, and also, now that we're here, well, let's talk about the final, well, not the final. well another roulette is, it is uh, a thing in this game, expert! Um, I think I've kind of sort of referred to as ex some ex experts as anything that is not in expert roulette. <laughs> of course, this will be changing. <laughs> What's in it will be changing with um, Endwalker. But as of the end of Shadowbringers, this dungeon and the dungeon of 5.5 are what are in expert. So that's also why it's like, oh, the cube is absolutely terrible for this one. Uh, why is this nonsense here? And kill us and friggin'. So we've got some of Ziggy here you might remember back at, uh... Oh, I want my... the next ball. Uh, back at, uh, Ant's Tower, we had Ziggy. Now well, we have Sunny, Sunny of Ziggy. Sorry, it's not his son, it's Sunny of Ziggy. The clay is just across the way, but you'll need to deal with the Mudman first for the- It's Mudman! Not the death and destruction Mudman, just the other Mudman. <laughs> yes, there are two enemies named Mudman. On that note, they're not the only first time they've done, um, enemy- Hard Rock Buster, by the way. Um, two enemies with the same name, um, that's in Realm Reborn. Um, Eamon was the originally the last boss of um, Labyrinth of the Ancients before Surf Power became a thing. Alright, so Heat Pelt needs to be these four orbs here. those into the holes. Um, each one's going to tether onto someone. And yeah, you have to aim it and not hit someone with them. But yeah, so Aemon used to be like the first boss until Circus Tower came out and they named the Blood Bomb. Um, the other thing is in Threat version, I don't know about any other versions of the other. Why is the game the Um, yeah, in the French version of the game, there's an S rank um, with the same name as the second boss in, um, gosh, and the poor hard? Yeah, uh, Crofetane, that one. Um, there's two enemies called Crofetane in the first person. I'm sure there's lots of others, but those are the, like, the two that's in the line. Obviously, yeah, that's another one. really awkward and also the healer was like right there too so kind of gave us like no move no move to maneuver no room to maneuver speaking of this all right so now we play it let's return to the entrance intercess next we need to go get the water flowing again It will be my pleasure to show you to the clear no cauldron ribbit. Please use this portal. Also, heirloom, I believe, is the No, no, there's a final tier of Dungeon Gear 5.5. It's the second to last tier of Dungeon Gear Shadow Burners. Uh, for your own safety, I say you keep close to me, Ribbit. So we've got some more watery based things now. Alright, do you want to catch up to me so I can show you the Um, as we come up here, these cave options are going to come around that little, uh, that little alco. Now, I pretty much made some friends out. I don't want these kinds of friends. I want friendly friends! These are friendly friends! Chest right there. Uh, 
please wait while I move them up for a bit. So you can actually kind of run against it, and once it's down far enough, the game will count it as being there. You won't actually land until it stops, but you can start moving in time. I guess to say put it that way. Um, hi. Next. I feel like they're fixing that in this locker. I don't quite remember all the monsters. Okay, there's Put a spring in your step ribbon. I think people are actually like opening chests because you know. Oh my gosh, people are actually doing every year, which I haven't been doing recently because I'm really bad. <laughs> um, this is our last pool, I believe, before the boss. Who's next boss? Uh, probably hitting people like can, I guess, at this point. We will get somewhere. Another thing I think is happening in another left or right, just a moment. And end walker is chakra. Chakra stuff is changing, I believe. So, obviously, their initial attack is going away. Um, I think they're pulling some of our little buffing things out of rotation. And, yeah. It's play! Let's play! Yeah, that's what this is! Congratulations! This is indeed a let's play! Water, water becomes fierce! Things of life have bone to pierce! So, you want to stay out of the... away from the tank and out of the lines there. Basically, it's a bunch of lines heading for the tank. Water, water, slow, so swift! Watch away instead of drift! So you kind of need to stay out of the lines that have the blue. Yes, okay, here we are. Box up. Ding! And... Go ahead and not them. <laughs> Such fine, more water! We need more water! Oh, come on! What was that? I feel... Nine. But now I'm just gonna lose everything. No! All my water is gone! But I can't lose! I'm gone! Okay, you have to jump up here and take care of those water things and get down there. I Why won't you get hit? Like, I could probably actually get in almost semi serious mode here for the like, fighting. <laughs> and kill cutscenes. Alright, so that wall is going to be mixed with a personal AoE for the thing. Crush Smash! And the lead into the tank cluster! And, well, that's basically it. <laughs> alright, alright, I give up! You win! Last but not least, we need fire to fire up the kin. Kiln! Not the kin, the kiln. Step right through, Ribbit, and I will guide you safely to the kiln fire cauldron. We'll say with relics, it was nice to see them actually do something a little bit different, sort of. I mean, it's still your basic dungeon layout, but I mean, it's at least a little bit different from the cut and dry, go in a straight line to get to your destination. Let's see it here. So go ahead that thing. And we've got some elders coming straight from Eureka, or 
Um. What? Not. No, I don't have one. That would be a good reason why I didn't roll on it. Um, yeah. Elsers! Mongol literally comes straight from Eureka. Yay. Hello, Magma can't stop us, Rivet. So we're gonna get to that once again. Yeah, it was nice to see him try something a little bit different that wasn't like over the top different, like how they were doing in uh Robert. I appear to have a couple friends. Um, I would limit break right here if I were the bard, but I am the monk, so I'm not gonna limit break right here. I still have a couple friends. No, I no longer appear to have any friends. Once and for all, ribbit. So, I've got a moment so bad. Literally, just a big can thing. Um, I guess I could want to break it, but honestly, it was a waste. Fiery battle that was, and I don't mean the magma, and you're just nation away. So at this point, some people do tend to just hit return to get back to the start out of the Hawk Manor. But I want to stay quick for the end. Or stay quick for this. That takes care of the kill and the rivet. So you can see it kind of power on. Oh my gosh, no one's returning. Wow. I'm actually really surprised. Alright, it's time to bake ourselves a pork seed. Neat. Right then. Let's get this over with. Newborns are wont to be difficult. <laughs> sure, who's in charge? Wait, so I'm being of a baby who's actually a mother, but who's really a baby because he's called a newborn. I'm getting mixed signals here. This is Mother Plork CD, final boss of Matoya's Relict. Alright, let's see how well you handle the big girl. Alright, but, alright, so, Tenderloin is Tank Buster. Or no, Tenderloin is General AoE, sorry. Tankbuster. Um, the other thing with this being like so is that this isn't item level thing, so we are actually no more right here. Uh, so anyways, this is a knockback. Um, if you stand, want to just stand in the middle, you can just um, use arm's length. However, anyway, meet Mallet. Welcome to the all DPS hate here. All the way on the edge, I believe. No, we do. We do. Alright, so about to get turbulent here and take care. You don't get sucked in. Literally, this is what we have to do in this car is we just run away from it so we don't get sucked in. 
So if you do leg strafes, if you start to get pulled back a little bit. Um, if you do go all the way to the back, it is death or at least very high damage, I believe. Oh no, I'm not sure what to say on that one. Mixed meat! Okay, that is the buster. <laughs> yeah, that kind of makes sense. Miss me. Thanks, Mr. Anyway, she's hitting us all. Find her quickly. Oh, she'll be in for a world of pain. So, yeah, we do have to kill this little case right here. And once we do, it's going to explode. It's going to knock us up. We will see where the porksy is. And we'll want to run to the safe spot. Will be gone workshop. Cool. Never actually looked at that before. Uh, there's a chance you can get um, a little Nyx here as a minion. That's a minion drop, is the Nyx, the second boss. Anyway. We are quite tame. Then all that remains is for me to imbue her with the magic. My friends, I'm afraid I must trouble you for your ether once more. should suffice. Good. Let's set her to work then, shall we? I want to see some porkses. Assuming that is, someone can spare the requisite energy. A mere drop in the ocean for the great sorceress Matoya, I dare say.
Excellent. Our very own litter of Angelos. And we can make as many more as we want, simply by providing the Mother Porksy with additional ether. I will require a moment before I try again. It's still hard work, but a damn sight more efficient than making them one by one. Thank you, Master Matoya. Everyone, we're a step closer to our goal. Distributed amongst the Allied Nations, they should do much to facilitate closer dialogue with the Beast Tribes. And given their present travails, I believe our friends in Limsa Laminsa should be the first beneficiaries. Agreed. Though I must leave this errand to you. I doubt my legs will carry me out of the cave, much less to Vilbrand. Thank you for taking the lead in gathering the ingredients. I expect you would benefit from a rest too. In addition to the porkses, I trust you've gained an inkling of how much effort goes into the creation of familiars. Or mayhap you attribute your struggles to old age. If I said yes, would it persuade you to treat me like an adult? <laughs> Not with that pertness, it wouldn't. Anyway, assuming you have no other favors to ask, I shall be leaving. Wonder Master Matoya has returned to her cave with Ishtola. Hmm, <laughs> they are peas as peas in the pod, are they not? <laughs> Email into Matoya's relic with party of NPC avatars to make use of this feature. Open the trust interface located under duty in the main menu. The Admiral's Resolve. Well, then, my friends, let's return to the Lumps of Lumens and deliver the good news to the Admiral. A word to the officer in a bowler call should be sufficient to secure us an audience. Why, Arya, ever a welcome sight. Times for the Admiral, you say. She's presently receiving gas, but for the Scions, I know she'll make an exception. Follow me. What brings you here this day? Not the voice cussing, that's for sure. Is this true? By the navigator, a cure for tempering. As often as I've been in awe of these scions, I would not have thought it possible. And yet it is, Admiral. We have done it here in Limsa, and protection of more familiars has already begun. You have my thanks, truly. This will do much to advance the cause of peace. Yeah, I fear it will take more than to close the rift twixt man and beastman. <sighs> Even to speak thus divides us. <sighs> Welcome, as it is, a cure will not guarantee reconciliation between our peoples. For though summoning in the tempered may serve to feel the conflict, they are but symptoms of it. If we are to resolve the primal problem once and for all, we must address the cause. We must strive for mutual understanding and find a way to leave our bloody past behind. It was I who moved that the Alliance renew its push for peace. 
Since our ancestors came to these shores some seven centuries past, we Lumensons have been in the odds with those who share our island home. Save for a brief moment of cooperation with the Kobolds, our history has been one of nigh constant territorial squabbling. Meanwhile, our struggle with the Hagen for control over the seas has only grown fiercer, rather made worse by the thrice damn calamity driving them to seek new spawning grounds. With survival at stake, each had no choice but to fight, and so I dismissed peace as, peace as impossible. Possible is a word coined by the week, I proclaimed to all who to listen, and then gave up. You and yours put me to shame. Since you blessed the victory against the Black Wolf, you have achieved the impossible again, and again, and again. And I thought it high time that I followed suit. Hence my proposal to the Alliance Council. But no sooner did I reach out to our neighbors in Vilbrun than my own people sought to thwart me. You speak of the pirates who failed to attend the meeting. I, acting through a friendly faction among the kobolds, we had intended to seek an audience with the prominent patriarch. But the bloody executioners will not hear of it, and their absence sends a message to the rest. Though they are but one of the three pirate powers, they are the greatest, and any attempt at peace would have found her without them. I am given to understand that the leader, Captain Hilfer, has been bedridden for some while with an ailment of the lungs. Correct. In his absence, his right hand leads a man named Sikar, but recently risen to prominence among their ranks. Save for his disdain for authority, a little is known about him. We have invited him to speak with us more than once, but he will not come. I have to ask the Yellow Jackets and the Rogues with uncovering his motives, but they have learned not of any value. Oh, we got this. Have him here in five minutes. Give or take however long cutscenes are. Yeah, but knows for the truth. Whatever the sea card wants, we'll find out. Truly, I would be much obliged. I shall look forward to hearing what you learn then. Good luck. Just surprised how fast once is loading right now. By way of a first step, I suggest we split up and make inquiries about town. Someone must know the card. He could approach the pirates, Arya. The rest of us will speak with the merchants and adventurers. Alright, so where are we going? There and there. Where are the hacking heck? Oh, the stairs. They're right here. Okay. Hi. Turns are hard. Thank you. Curious about the card, are you? As am I, my friend, as am I. Sadly, I know nothing of the man, save that the bloody execution has experienced a marked improvement in their fortunes after his promotion. Quite how he achieved this is a matter of some debate. As you know, the Thalas. Thalas. Yeah. They allow us to. <laughs> the permits allow us only to attack Guardian vessels. They have all but vanished from the sea since the Empire turned in, and in upon itself. Hard to adapt, we Krakens have taken to trading with the East, but the executions are less forward looking. I imagine they would willingly abandon the old ways. So then, how are they lining their coffers? Whatever their secret, they are not like to share it with their rivals, but mayhap you will have more or less. Where are you? Yep, dip. Fine, we're going on the table. Maybe we're going on the table. Is this really one of these tables? Think. And this is why I'm bad at Leap of Faith. Eh, you wanna know what's a card? He's a wily bugger, is what he is. I found some clever way to make corn a center for Monskirt's place at Old Ilfer's side. 
There was a time we raised the executioners for our pick of the Empire's fleet, but the Guardians are gone, and then days are, and then days with them. I once wish we all, all of us had to look for way, other ways to make ends meet, but if that jumped up Bill's right to car land in the juiciest, or whatever it may be. Not that we signs are struggling, man. We do well enough garden fish, fish and buzz from the fish backs and other beasts. Get the first pick of the proof earliest for our trouble. See, quality stuff at a bargain price. This, is, this we pass to our sisters as can't sail on account of getting old or wounded or with job, and they cook it up and sell for a pretty profit. Simple. Oh, I miss the old ways, don't get me wrong. But when I see the girls with their little ones, I think to myself, a life of peace and quiet ain't all bad. I see everyone has returned. Now, who would like to go first? So, just as their imperial prey began to disappear, Sakaar turned the executioner's fortress around with a mysterious new source of income. Whatever it is, it's nothing to scoff at. According to a tavern keeper I spoke to, the crew have been indulging themselves as never before, but no amount of drinks seems to loosen their tongues as to how they are coming by their coin. For my part, I spoke with a reporter from the Harbor Herald. The publication has been investigating the secret of the executioner's good fortune and making little headway. Plainly, the executioners do not wish the nature of their business to be made public. And I think I may know why. In the course of making inquiries on Hawker's Alley, an interesting fact came to light. Just as the executioners began to enjoy better fortunes, the price of crystal went into a sharp decline. A sudden of bond demand, I was told. Curious, I contacted Tori Boulder, who has been watching the movements of the beast tribes, and my suspicions were proven correct. Despite ever worsening relations between the beast tribes and the Thalat, <laughs> the lasso crossy. Uh, neither Titan nor Leviathan have any appearance of light, suggesting the Kobolds and Sahagan lack the means but with which to summon them. Do you mean to say the executioners are divesting them of their crystals? All indications point to that conclusion, yes. Agreed, so how do we proceed? Oh, I have an idea about that. In fact, I've already taken the liberty of making certain provisions. The search for Sicard. During my inquiries, a disgruntled merchant informed me that a wholesaler crystals had recently arrived in Limsal Mensa, offering wares that have arrived as far undercutting the competition. After asking around, I was able to gain an, an introduction and will shortly pose as a potential buyer in a bid to establish the crystal's provenance. May I do to be at Oshon's embrace in Lower Lanoxia soon? I, as soon as we make our way there, at once. in the middle and we can fly. We're working it this way. Um, beep, 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 beep. A little stockercy. Now I can do it. I'm not in, like, trying to just read it. That appears to be our merchant. Wish me luck. Wait, if he is truly is in league with the bloody executioners, he will surely be wary of those allies to the Admiral. The Scions, not least of all. Compared to yours and Arya's, mine is an unfamiliar face. Let me play the role of buyer. Graha is right, and even if Yorana is recognized on sight, you look too genteel to be mixing with society's underbelly. Genteel? <sighs> Very well. I leave to you, Graha. Got business with me, cat boy. I am. Um, you're the crystal wholesaler.
Nah, that I am. But you're not much. And so what do you want the crystals for? I, uh, 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 Look at us, you idiot! You'll give yourself away! Oh, I see. You're a weaponsmith, am I right? And you crystals make staffs like that fine specimen you've got there. Uh, th 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 that's right. I am indeed a weaponsmith, and I use not but the finest materials. I bid you show me your wares. Well, we don't invite just anybody into our storehouses. It takes time to establish trust, do you understand? Look, I have a large and urgent commission. If the quality, the quality is satisfactory, I will not quibble over the price. Alright, it's plain that it's no ordinary crystal dorn in your staff, so I'll make an exception. Oh, come with me. It seems to be working. Let's follow them. Where is my mouse? More important question here. Okay, I went into the tunnel quietly. You won't find any fun, especially not for the price. Dude, I would expect to pay more than double for such quality. How could they possibly be so cheap? Oh, there's nothing unlawful about them, if that's your worry. They're from Ogomoro, if you take my meaning. Stuff's as pure as a gift. You won't be disappointed. So how much do you want? Come around, take it from the kobolds, just as we suspected. That's enough. Shut your gobs and turn around slowly. I'm Sakad, acting captain of the bloody, of the bloody executioners. And no need to introduce yourselves. We know who you are. Scions. And we know you've been chatting with the, the Admiral. Got eyes and ears everywhere, I see. Comes with being the only true pirate crew left in Limsa. So, we've established you ain't here to buy crystals. The question is, what are you here for? You are bold to reveal yourself to us without knowing our objective. That would explain your swift rise to power. You have spoken plain, and so I shall return the favor. I came here to learn why the bloody executioners oppose the Admiral's will. And we have our answer. Should Lum Salimensa make peace with the kobolds, you would lose the source of your newfound wealth. That's right. I'm just to remind you that we ain't breaking any rules here. Laws forbid us from attacking any vessel not flying the Imperial flag, but it doesn't say nothing about these men. No, the only reason we keep our operation nice and quiet is because we don't want no one taking our business. 
Wait. And just listen to the end, will you? For what it's worth, I have the highest respect for you and yours. Her, especially. While the maelstrom weren't about dirty in that fancy red clobber, you lot stormed a gomero and ble battered bleeding titan himself. Raised the mug to you when I heard the news. And now we're following your footsteps, making sure the beastmen never summon their stinking gods again. Practically your successors, we are. When there were still Imperial ships about, we did our bit for limbs and went after them. But with the Garleans gone, there no one left to ply our trade on except the beastmen. And so let us have that, eh? That's only fair. <sighs> Contentious though some of your some may find your views, it is true that you have broken no laws. That being so, I see no reason why you should not state your case directly to the Admiral's face. Unless the acting captain of the only true pirate crew left in Limps Lamensa has some other cause to hide in the cave. Hm. Well said. Well said indeed. Alright, I'll meet with the Admiral. I'll even provide the venue. They asked Alicia. I am sure she won't turn down the invitation. I'm gonna call it there so thank you for watching if you enjoyed the video consider liking commenting and or subscribing if you really enjoy it consider supporting the channel all support greatly helps you keep being content like this and more you can find the links for that in the description all links to me on social media so thank you again for watching and until next time this is Rinny MT signing out bye